Welcome to my clover patch. Every year around like summer or spring, I'm suddenly reminded that my true purpose in life is to move to the middle of the woods where no one can find or contact me, raising my own food and any injured animals I may come across. Excuse you? Okay, what do you need that's directly in front of my camera, sir? Never to return to society. So naturally, I'm out in the clover patch picking white clover buds to make iced tea with. There is dog poop poop three feet in front of me to my two o'clock four feet behind me at my seven o'clock and a wolf spider that keeps trying to climb across my feet so maybe let's make this a bit of a quick adventure there's also a crawdad hole right behind me i've seen him crawling across the yard a few times before maybe i'll introduce you to him today <laughs> the goods. Anyway, my dream, my utopia future that I just described to you, that doesn't seem to be in the books for me this year. So instead, I'm going to be taking you with me as I speed run my cottagecore fantasy in like one day. You're never going to guess who the sponsor of today's video is. I'll, okay, I'll give you three guesses. It's Anna Luisa. In conjunction with my newly resurrected cottage core phase, I've been doing this almost total rehaul of my personal style. I want to be cute. I want to be cool. I want to be the hot mysterious stranger walking past you in the Walmart produce section. And one of my favorite ways to throw a little bit of spice on my outfits is just to throw a stupid amount of accessories on top of it. So many thanks to my guys over at Anna Luisa for providing me with plenty of options to do so with. Recently, I turned myself into a ring girl. I wear rings now. If you've ever tried to train a dog to walk on a leash and like every six seconds you have to reach down and yank the rope out of its mouth so it can't chew through it, that was me training myself to get used to the feeling of having 60 rings on my fingers at any given moment. But these rings I have from Anna Luisa are so lightweight and delicate. I can stack as many of them as I want around my chunkier options and I hardly even feel them throughout the day. This this may not be actually be a problem that anyone else has. Zim is literally licking the sweat off my body. It's very hot. Anna Louise's jewelry is high quality, sustainable, they're carbon neutral, and it's affordable. They've been supporting my channel for a long time now. I really love working with them. I wear their stuff every time I go out. I will have them linked in my description if you wanna go see some of their stuff for yourself. You can get 10% off your order with my discount code, LED10. Thank you, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring my video and so many other videos in the past. Okay, back to my clover patch. My face is sweating. This man? I hate this man. If you see this man, don't. Don't perceive, don't engage. Every time I introduce someone to him, I tell them that. And they laugh like I just said a funny joke. And then sure enough, like three hours later, they're coming up to me like, so Zim is uh, plotting my downfall in his fuzzy dog bed over there. At that point, dude, he's already got you in his sights. I don't know what you want me to do about that. You should have listened to my earlier warning. He is sentient and evil and brain dead and conniving. I used to think, you know, like five months ago when I got a call from a shelter that someone had dumped him on their front steps. I was like, now how could a person do such a thing like that? In his little puppy pictures they sent me, he looks pretty suspect but in like a cute way but now now i'm a little bit older and a little more wiser aren't i lord huron released the deluxe edition of their album this week this is the divine ordained era for me to be entering my yearly cottagecore phase isn't it you know for all the time i've spent sitting in clover patches from as far back as when I was just a little bitty kid. I've never once, okay, will you stay out of my clover jar, please? I've never once found a four-leafed clover. Stay out of the clover jar. 
Stop! Do not scratch the phone. Oh my god. Y'all, I have seen spiders that big around crawling in this corner of the yard. I'm either very brave or very stupid to be sitting out here when I haven't mowed in like two weeks. The deal is, I say that I'm not scared of spiders until I see one the size of my palm crawling across my toes. Y'all, I already got... <laughs> Me and the crawdad are sort of on... I guess like friendly terms now. I stepped out my door to let this turd out at like 3 a.m. while it was pour get out of the clover jar to let him out to pee at like 3 a.m. while it was raining. Stop, 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 stop. Didn't bother turning on a light or anything. When I was coming back in, I had my flashlight on and I saw that this crawdad was standing right next to the to the entrance where I had put my bare feet at with his little pinchers up and he didn't even take the opportunity to snip my toes which I think is like the closest thing to a display of affection a crawdad could give you also I've saved his life from Zin like 50 times a couple weeks ago this is now the second crawdad I've had in this yard right a couple weeks ago I had another one that was crawling around that I also had to keep saving from Zim and then one day I came out and his bisected body was just laying on the concrete with like his guts hanging out and his claws in fighting position. I can only assume that Zim got to him when I wasn't looking and nerfed him. So now I gotta be extra careful with my single remaining crawdad. Stay out of the door. Stay out. Okay, the dew on the ground is starting to soak through my towel and my butt. So I'm just gonna have to speed run the rest of this. I'm only like halfway filled with the jar. Stay out. You're stepping on the clovers. God, okay, stay out. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. The recipe said we needed about a cup of fresh clover buds. I think that about does it. I'm gonna go in. Let's give these men's a good wash. I gotta double check the recipe, but I believe now I just gotta boil some water, pour it over these dudes in a pitcher, let it sit for like four hours, and then sweeten to however I so desire and drink it over ice. I'm gonna do yoga before I take a shower and start my shift, but I have to be looking at my phone because I don't remember the yoga routine off the top of my head. So I'm gonna sit here and pretend that I'm doing my yoga routine and then I'm gonna turn the camera off and then I'm gonna do my actual yoga routine while watching my phone. <laughs> After I do my little yoga sequence. <laughs> <coughs> After I do my yoga sequence, I always do legs up the wall. It's the best part of the routine. You can feel the blood draining from your toes all the way down your legs. Like, why am I like, why am I like kind of out of breath? And then you try to get up and like your legs are kind of jiggly. It does make me feel better though. I feel like it improves my mood. There's supposed to be all these health benefits to it. I don't remember what any of them are, but it makes me feel good and it's like, a productive excuse to lay on the ground and do nothing so i will take it now everyone be quiet and breathe and take deep breaths this train is sort of putting a crick in my vibe the animals were right the animals have had it down all along sometimes you need to reject modernity you need to reject your bed you need to lay on the floor and feel the hard ground underneath your fragile, fragile spine. And that's what's gonna make you feel better. Will it balance your checkbooks and cook you dinner? No, but it'll scratch that little monkey part of your brain that you've been ignoring for so long. Okay, it's been like five minutes. Now I gotta go take a shower and then I gotta start my shift. But I will check in on you guys soon.
my Etsy packages came in. I'm just on my break, but I want to take this opportunity to open up my stuff. Look at this cute little bag. I got this ring with all these tiny little evil eyes. And they gave me this little, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I dropped my rock. There she is. There he is. <laughs> and then I got all these rocks. Ouch. This one is moss. Agate. She's kind of dusting on my fingers. It's okay. We're gonna put her back up for a second. We got the TV stone, which if I remember correctly... I just filmed for like six minutes and then my phone decided I didn't deserve happiness today. So it deleted everything I'd filmed. I all, my, when I was making oatmeal this morning, it overflowed and spilled onto the whole plate in the microwave. And I already didn't know if I was gonna be able to recover from that. So this is, this is re, this is just, I'm on my break from work. I think I have like three minutes left. So we sort of got a speed run. Oh my God, my break is over, okay. We'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do, um... Ring. I used to think evil eyes were evil eyes, but recently I was informed that they're actually, their whole thing is like, they're supposed to protect from the evil eyes. So that was a nice clarification. Not that I wouldn't have worn it either way. Still don't know who he is but he can still sit here and still look pretty we got this man's on the website the examples they had the slabs were all like really thin and they said you could like hold it up to a piece of paper and it was like a magnifying glass but this man is a little too thick for those purposes moss agate if you ever heard me pronouncing this agate or agate no, you did not. We got citrine. This one's maybe the one I was the most excited for. Citrine is so pretty. I'm in like a sort of darkly lit spot, so you can't even see them at their full potential, but she's still cute. This is blue lace agate. It's just like a little confetti bag of teeny little blue rocks. You remember those like rock bins that you used to go to the zoo and like beg your mom to let you pick out a bag and they'd let you scoop with the giant scoop and you put it in those velvet bags. And then you'd bring them all home to stare at them for like a day and immediately lose every single one of them. Now, what is this? What? I got a free mini zoocyte. Sort of looks like a cousin to this man. Citrine will manifest your heart's desires. Me waking up in a bathtub full of mac and cheese. Your gems were packed with delight and joy by bee. Can you believe a bee packed this up? How did his tiny arms reach that far? I might delete the channel for that one. Anyway. My tea finished steeping a while back and I put it in the fridge to chill. It smells... It... Oh my god. It smells like... What? I, I've smelled this before. I'm trying to place... It's like... Okay, what I'm getting is like... Like when you chop the stems off kale. Like the really thick, bulky, that's what I'm feeling. Ugh. Really bad, really, really bad. I'm remembering now that in the articles I read about this, a bunch of them were referring to it as like, like a medicinal health thing. That checks out. This smells like I'm supposed to be drinking it for health and not for pleasure. So what I'm gonna do is, I have this plum ginger simple syrup that I made a couple days ago. I'm gonna load this boy down with this syrup and just try to erase as much of this flavor as possible. Let's just start with a little bit. Cause in case this is just as disgusting and unpalatable as it smells, I don't wanna be stuck with a whole glass of this. It still smells kind of rough. Okay, look. <laughs> I've been deceived just a little bit. The flavor is not nearly as strong as the, like, I wanna, 
I I have set the pitcher down over here on the counter. I can smell it from here. In the glass, it has a really, really mild flavor. It's not bad. Yeah, okay, nice. Okay, cool. I was really worried for a second. I have like five minutes left in my dinner break and I've been screwing around filming instead of eating. So let's finish this quarter of an egg sandwich I made several hours ago. <laughs> She's feeling a little bit crusty. Oh God. You know, filming my day-to-day -day life might be the form of peer pressure I need to finally start reading before bed. I have two books propped up on my nightstand so they can sit there and stare at me and judge me every time I climb into bed and get on my phone instead of reading. But if I'm filming, what else do I have to do with my hands but to become an educated, well-read young woman. Y'all mind if I just pace for a little bit? <laughs> 